Hi, welcome to Heaven is a Homestead. It's 7 a.m. on June 30th. We're out in the garden, We've got my coffee. We've got some vegetables we need to harvest. I have some garden chores to do and want to show you around on how a few things are doing. If you come in here, we've got some lemon squash we need to harvest. If you can see, there are some bees getting busy early in the morning, pollinating these flowers. All right, so try to do this with one hand. So these are, um, I've gotten one so far, cooked it with a zucchini and it was so good. I really love the flavor. I do some yellow crookneck squash too and I just felt like these were so much more tender and crispy. I have some cucumbers I need to harvest. Nice silver slicer. Got a Japanese long cucumber here, getting nice and big. Is huge. And I have all of these. So I've got four or five different cucumber varieties here planted next to each other. Um, I will not do that again next year and the reason being is because I am trying to get better at saving seeds and when the vines are all kind of crossing with each other it's kind of hard to tell which flower belongs to which plant and which variety. So love cucumbers, I'll always try to plant a lot of them, but maybe just not every variety right next to each other. Got a, you can see, it's pretty crazy in here. Uh, this lemon cucumber, there's a couple lemon cucumbers that I'm gonna grab. I think they're ready and I've never, haven't gotten any yet this year, and this is my first year growing them, so I have not tried them yet. This is very hard to do while holding a camera. This is like way back in here. All right. There we go. Lots of fruit in here. They're not turning colors yet, but they'll be ready pretty soon. That one's definitely ready. Look at these bees. They are absolutely loving this forage. So if you do not grow any other flower or plant for pollinators, definitely grow some borage because I, this thing is always loaded with bees. They love it. You can see these honey nut squash getting really big. Look at these, sizing up really nicely. And if you see this, so this, this is a squash that didn't get pollinated. So when they shrivel up and they get brown like that, that just means the female flower that has this squash behind it, like this. So this is the female flower. You can tell because it has a squash behind the flower and it did not get pollinated properly by a bee that went to and visited a male flower. So they just shrivel up and do this. If you want more uh, squash you can hand pollinate. This cabbage is starting to head up. It's coming over here. This broccoli is starting to head up. So 
I'm just gonna keep an eye on this. It's getting really hot starting this week. So this could head up nicely and I'll get a nice head of broccoli or it could start trying to go to seed and go to flower. So I'm just gonna keep an eye on it. When you start to see these little heads start opening up and you start seeing some yellow, that means that it's going to flower and you either need to grab it and eat it right then, whatever size it is, or you can just let it go to seed and let the pollinators have it. These sun gold cherry tomatoes are starting to turn. They're the first cherry tomatoes I've gotten so far and they're absolutely delicious. The rest of them are still putting on fruit, but no color change yet. I wanted to show you the flowers on this. This is the Berries Crazy Cherry. And look, this is one cluster. Look at this. When I first noticed this, I mean, this is like, <laughs> this is borderline terrifying as well as exciting. But I uh, supported these branches specifically because this is going to need a lot of support. So. Our Amish paste tomatoes are starting to put on some tomatoes. With basil, when you see it starting to do this, you want to just go ahead and pinch those off. So that is the basil trying to go to seed, and at some point during the season I'll let it because I want to save some basil seeds. But for right now, it's going to get bitter. It's not going to taste as good anymore. So I'm just going to pinch these off. Got little ground cherries still putting on their husks. I'm really excited to try these. I've never tried them before. And right behind it, we've got these little cucumelons. They're so cute. The flavor on them is interesting. I'm not sure that I absolutely love them, like they'd be a must-grow thing for me. But I do think they're cute and kind of something nice for young kids. Like I just imagine my daughter coming and, and picking these when she's a little bit older. But I think I would grow them up an arch trellis. I just grew them up this horizontal cattle panel trellis and they're just going nuts. So I've got the zucchini that I hand pollinated because I'm planning to save seeds from it. I've got a little cornfield pumpkin plant that I started from seed out here. I did have two seeds in the ground, that's what I usually do, and one of them got eaten by a bull or a bunny or something, so I'm really hoping this one makes it. If it gets big, I'm really going to have to stay on top of squash bugs and that's going to be kind of tough because it'll ramble out on the ground and I'm going to have to get underneath those leaves to check for squash bugs but when I thought of my fall garden and what I really envisioned it looking like I felt like I needed that classic jack-o-lantern pumpkin. It's the next morning, my daughter woke up, and by the time I fed her, it was time to get ready for work. So my priorities around this time of year really are, number one, harvesting and preserving. If I miss a squash or a cucumber and they get too big and seedy, they're not gonna be that good to eat anymore. Right up there with it is checking for squash bug eggs. They, squash bugs love squash, but they'll also get to anything else in the cucurbit family. So. They'll take over your squash first, but they'll also destroy your cucumbers, your melons, anything else that you have in that family. So I really try to stay on top of them, check for their eggs at least every other day. After that is maintaining my tomatoes. Tomatoes really love maintenance and pruned and being trellised up and support. And then at the bottom of that list really is weeding. There's just not really a time crunch on weeding. Um, nothing horrible really is going to happen if I don't get to weeding. Although I do try because it does make the garden look much nicer. But 
Thank you so much for spending time with me today and I hope to see you next time.